What if you could have real meat without the need for animals? These look like images of regular meat because technically it is. Technology has ushered in a new reality, lab-grown meat. WRL's Liz McLaughlin reports it's coming to North Carolina. Lab chops, wow. At an onstage like demo in Israel. <laughs> oh my God. Taste testers were wowed by lab-grown meat on a wooden bone. No, I, I want to explain. It tastes like lamb. <laughs> it, it's not similar. I sat down with Yaakov Namias, who developed a way to grow real meat in a lab without the waste and resources of traditional agriculture. You're getting the protein, you're getting the aroma, you're getting the flavor, you're getting the experience of meat without going for animals. Cultured meat companies like Believer Meats are able to use cells from animals to grow only the parts consumers want to eat, such as muscle and fat, in a controlled lab setting to create everything from burgers to chicken breasts. If you look at the ecological impact of cultured meat, we are talking about 95% less space, 80% less water, and 98% less carbon emissions. Believer Meats is an Israeli company that's setting up shop in Wilson, North Carolina. And we actually have the bulldozers on the ground right now building the world's first large-scale meat facility. Bringing an initial investment of more than $123 million to the area. And once completed, we'll have the capacity to produce 22 million pounds of meat without killing a single animal. Liz McLaughlin, WREL News. Huh. Well, the facility is about 40 miles east of Raleigh and is expected to be completed in the summer of 2024. The company says it plans to create more than 100 new jobs.